The smoke cleared when Suge Knight went to prison. A lot of the mismanagement of money came out. The illusion that Death Row Records was this paradise where everyone got signed and became an immediate millionaire was one of the greatest cons Suge ever pulled. He wasn't cutting checks. He wasn't paying publishing and royalties. So he did things to pacify us. Corrupt, as an example, thought that he had come up on a house and thought he had a nice car. This is a present from Suge. This is my record company gift. And then when Suge went to jail, they're towing that car away. This is my new shit. All of those deeds were owned by Death Row. They were not owned by the artist. This is a sure sign that the boat is sinking. Suge was not, in fact, managing his artist's money well, and that many of them left Death Row broke after having millions of selling albums and thinking that they had a million dollars in the bank. These little checks that y'all giving me right now, they're cool, they're a blessing, thank you so much. But where's that other money when the record was really hot? We spoke with the people who control Death Row and they chose to ignore us. I'm on every video on television. I barely got a dime. I was hungry and homeless. Dog knew it, I knew it, we all knew it. This is over. I would hear Snoop phone conversations like, fuck that, I want my motherfucking money. That pissed me off. All that shit is made up shit. I'm not gonna bad mouth nobody because I don't have to. At the end of the day, when the boss away, everybody else plays because they can put shit in their head. I told Dog, I'm getting off a of death row and get the fuck out of here. And then Snoop was trying to find another deal because he wanted to get off of death row.